Less than 1 million guys! One bedroom, 962, that's the cheapest. I want to congratulate this person who being a Kwakwe two, three years later. <laughs> to my channel by clicking the link below. I'm going to review the M because this is the second new launch in the area. This is dual residences completed already. Midtown Bay is the first one to launch October 2019 and they bought the land 1007 and this is the M. They bought the land 1004. The next new launch is Midtown Modern at 1535. The cheapest goes to the M. Wing Tai who bought the, the land at a very good price. So let, let's give Wing Tai a round of applause. The M. The pricing is low. They are able to move 360 units out of 522 units on a weekend. 70% sold. It is an achievement, guys. Achievement. This is the launch of the year 2020. Actually, they are not the launch of the year. They are in the second place. So the launch of the year goes to... Not Penrose, not Penrose. Penrose is 60%. Yes, goes to Clavon. Clavon also moved 70%, but they have 640 units. So they have more units and they sold 70% as well. So you have learned from dual residences that most of the demand and the current resale market goes to one and two bedroom. So if you are going to buy the M, most people will buy the one and two bedroom. Lah. As I say, this developer bought the land at low doesn't mean they will sell low. But it gives us some hope. What lao? Maybe they will sell low then I what la. Okay, let's check it out. Ah, uh. uh, you see and see ah, uh, February 2020. And they are going for one bedroom, 1.122. The smallest one, 1.1.022. .1 Less than 1 million guys. The two bedroom is about 1.3 million guys. 592 is a two bedroom, one bathroom type. Yeah, I think this is overall a very good pricing. 2002 per square feet, 2003 for smaller units. So let's give them a round of applause, man. This is the lowest in the area and I'm looking forward for this buyer to see their 200k in 3-4 years. The size for their smallest one bedroom is 409 square feet for the M. M Midtown Modern is the same. The two bedroom one bathroom is 592 is the same as Midtown Modern as well. So you can use this as a apple to apple comparison. Orange to orange comparison. Yeah. We have learned that the launch price for one bedroom 2003 per square feet. Oh, it's low. Two bed one bath, 2001 to 2002 per square feet. Two bed two bath, 2002 per square feet. I think what is exciting, let's look at the quantum, the pricing for people who enters and buys last year. One bedroom, 962, that's the cheapest. I want to congratulate this person who being a Kwakwe two, three years later. The rest is about 980, which is good. 1 million, which is very good as well. 2 big 1 bath, 1.29. And this is the lowest in the current market right now. Also, well done. And the 2 big 2 bath is slightly higher. 1 toilet is about 150 to 200k difference. Let's go for our scoring. We have Lean. 777. 877. 888. What la? Jordan, 10, 10, 10. Wow, I think Jordan is a very easy to please investor. Eric say good, good la. We have 855. Okay, my location is not as central compared to Midtown Bay and Midtown Modern. I'll give 8.5. That's why Midtown Bay 8.8 ma. Launch pricing, 8. They are not a disgusting developer. They bought low and they sell low to investors and buyers. So kudos to them. And from here, I'll give them a round of applause. As a strategy, I give six. Most of the buyers, they are HDB upgraders and I don't think you can sell to HDB upgraders that easily. But because the entry price of these areas is low, that's the reason why you can still exit to investors at a healthy profit. Not a lot of people will buy from you, but you can still exit at a good profit. Overall scoring 7.5. This is a project worth investing. All the good ones are gone on day one, day two. You don't need to buy anymore. Do the M buyers enter at the lowest price? 
is Midtown Modern going even lower or is going higher? So let's check it out. Thank you for watching my video. And if you want to watch more, please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. And I see you in the next video.